it's going to be a motorcycle accident. Mm -hmm. uh, pedestrian hit by an automobile. Someone fell off a cliff. Something that's going to break. Okay, or if they just come across and say, shorten rotation of the lake. Go grab it. And then just plan on having it there in the room. But don't wait until they get here. The big thing about doing the trauma stuff now is you can have to start thinking of listen to what they say the problem is and start thinking, okay, what could it possibly be and get all the gear in there before it happens. Because the last thing that you want to do is like when we started doing the trauma drills, okay, we need a monitor. Oh, go get where's the monitor? Yeah. And they take yeah, off and they problem. go run around, they come back. Okay, we need warm blankets. Oh, we're gonna go get it and go mm -hmm. take off. So just naturally you just know now that I just bring a monitor in, I just bring the warm blankets in. If you hear something that could possibly be a busted leg, go get it. And then that way it'll just be out there. Just set it outside the room because the rooms are so small, you got too much junk in there to begin with. And then if you do need it, reach around the corner, grab it, and stick it on. Okay? All right. So how many of you have put one of these on before? One? Just like in class. In class? It helped out. Did you guys ever put mm -hmm. one? Okay. Basically, uh, for femur fractures, and basically what it's going to do is just going to kind of pull a little bit of traction on it to kind of help uh, reduce the cramping and the spasms and stuff like that and hopefully keep stuff from doing more damage, okay? Um, one of the things that you don't want to do is uh, you don't want to apply this if they've got an ankle fracture or something like that because mm -hmm. you can literally pull the ankle off, which mm -hmm. I've seen happen, yeah. okay? And it's not very good, especially on a long transport. All of a sudden mm -hmm. you get there and you go, oh crap, oh. that wasn't there before. <laughs> so, wow. so just make sure that it's just like up in the femur, femur area, okay? Uh, preferably not in the knee too because you can just pull it right apart. Um, usually though when you do put it on and it is a good femur fracture then the people will go, oh, it feels so much better. But they hate it when you're putting it on and manipulating it, but after you do get it on, they feel a whole lot better, okay? All right, so the parts that you'll have, make sure you've got four straps. Two are gonna go underneath the thigh, two are gonna go underneath the calf, and then you got your little ankle strap, all right? Um, make sure the best thing to do is have somebody, well, who wants to be the victim? I'm gonna move over here. This side, please. This side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. We don't need any. <laughs> you don't want your ankle pull up? <laughs> no. Okay. So basically what you're going to do is this part here is going to go up underneath the butt. Okay? And it's going to go right up underneath, right up where your cheek, cheek and the leg come together, right in the crease. If you stick it up in there, it'll usually go ahead and, and kind of mellow right up there. right in there. Mm -hmm. So basically, you first you're going <laughs> to pre-size it, okay? resize it, and each one of them is kind of a little bit different. I've never seen this one before, so we'll play with it. And you're going to have to lengthen it, so loosen it, pull it out. And what you're going to do with this, this strap is going to go around the ankle, and then this, how's this one work? I've never seen this strap before. Okay. So this one's going to go around and go like this. Now this is going to attach to this here, okay? And this is what's going to be pulling your tension. So what you want to do is make sure it's long enough this way this way so that when you crank down on this you can get enough of the tension so if you just leave it here put the ankle strap on and all of a sudden it's right here and you don't have any length you're going oh crap now what do I do so you got to adjust it so just make it a little bit longer okay put that guy up you can a little bit that'll make it a little bit nicer this guy comes around and comes inside and they'll go on up okay so that's going to be it um, whoever grabs tension on the leg and puts the ankle brace around it, you've now got the ankle for the entire time until the thing is put on completely, okay? Yeah. So it's gonna take basically two people to do this piece. One person is gonna hold the ankle, the other person is gonna go ahead, you're gonna lift up the leg, the other person is gonna slide it in, set the leg down, put on the straps, and then adjust the tension as you get it going, okay? The worst thing that you wanna do is go ahead and pull tension, and let it off, pull tension, let it off, and move it.